Hello, my name's Jeremy, and this is an app that I'm working on called Styly. Styly is a fun web animation tool with a lot of features that I'd like to show you. So first, you can take these crosshairs and move them around. And if you want to make the animation a little bit longer, just click this, uh, this little 1000 millisecond thing here and uh, just type in how long you want the animation to be. Let's make it 3000 milliseconds and then hit enter. And now you can see it's moving more slowly. If we want to change the rotation of this little ball here, we just enable rotation and scaling mode by hitting this green button down here, and we'll see these yellow boxes appear. Now we can take this little, uh, this little arm here and move it around uh, for each of these, and we can also change the uh, different axes of rotation to make it animate in 3D. Put that there. Okay, so now we can see that it is rotating around, and we can also go back to this mode and hit and, and scroll up or down with our mouse to change the scale of this thing. So if we want to have it like pop in out of nowhere, we can just scroll down to a scale of zero or just type it in here. Uh, there we go. Change that to be four, zero. And now it's kind of zooming out. Um, and you can also change the uh, easing curves for it as well. So let's change this to be um, one of these. Maybe make it go a little bit faster. Give that a 800 millisecond time. Now it's much faster. So let's start this over by hitting the yellow button up here. Now, as I said, you can have multiple keyframes by just hitting this plus button. But if you want to modify a bunch of things at once, it might be easier to, uh, to select a group. So you can hold the shift key on your keyboard and select each keyframe and have multiple of these things selected. Um, you can add more to the group or remove them. It's pretty powerful. And uh, the same thing works for rotation modes. If I wanna select several of these guys, go back to rotation mode, and I can actually rotate all of these at once. So it's pretty cool. Um, you can so you can also reorder things. Um, you can change the, the the easing easing curves for individual properties. It's pretty powerful. So if you want to use your own easing curve, if you don't want if you don't like any of these built-in ones, you can actually go and select this bottom guy here that says custom curve one, and flip over to the motion tab and we can actually change this as it's running, which is kind of handy. If you want to see this happening uh, you know, in a more visible way, we can add more keyframes. And let's move them over here. Now you'll see that these curves are copied over to each new keyframe, uh, and we can go back here and just flip these around. And now we're changing all the curves at once. Well, it's a little trippy, it's fun. Let's add a new custom uh, a new custom curve by flipping uh, but by hitting this plus button here. Now we have custom curve two, and we're going to select that for this uh, this third keyframe here, which looks a little bit different. And you can see that we're moving this one curve independently of the others. We can also modify custom curve one still. So there's a lot of tools to get the exact curves that you want. So just play around with it and see what works for you. Now, what's the whole point of this thing? It's not just to create curves and have and make fun things uh, in this app. The idea is to take this motion that you're creating here, this animation, and export it into a useful format. Uh, the default format is CSS. It creates this tool was originally built to create CSS animations, uh, and it has a lot of options for doing that. You can target a specific class, tell it how many times you want it to animate, um, to have orient the keyframes, to, or orient the animation to a particular starting point, uh, and even select which browsers you want to support. Um, you can have as many as you want, but keep in mind that this will make the, uh, the export of this, of this animation much larger. So I'm going to uh, stick with WebKit for right now because I'm using Chrome, and that's what uh, will work for this browser. So I'm going to take all of this code, and I'm going to go over to CodePen here, and you can see I've got this snowflake. I'm just going to paste in the code, and now it's animating the snowflake. 
So if you want to iterate, just go back to uh, go back to Styly, maybe like make some changes. All right, good. I'm not much of an animator myself, but um, you can get the idea of how these how, how these different things work. And there we go. Let's take that again. Paste it in. And now we can see it rotating around. Now, if you want something that's a little bit um, uh, a little bit less verbose. Now, there's a lot of code here to get you a better sense of that. Let's show you. Uh, there we go. There's a there's a lot of code here, and it can be even more verbose for for more intricate animations. If you want something that's not so big, you can actually export a JavaScript animation uh, that targets Recapy, which is the animation engine that powers this whole tool, uh, by going to this little drop down and selecting Recapy, and just have some JSON which is oftentimes much shorter than the, than the CSS animation. Uh, to see how that works, I've made a little tool for you. It looks like Styly, but it's not. It's just a very simple uh, you know, little sandbox. Uh, so you take this, this JSON that it creates, flip over to this Recapy export tool, paste it in, hit the play button, and now it is the same animation that you saw in CodePen, but this is part by JavaScript rather than CSS. It really depends on your project which one you need, um, but both options are available to you. So um, that's how to like work with the animation. You can also uh, tweak things. Uh, you can tweak. You can change the things that it's animating. So let's uh, start this over again. I'm going to pause it. Okay. Now, right now, by default, it's just animating this, this circle image, but you can actually type in whatever you want for the for, for the HTML. And hit play. You can update. You know, you can you can type as your uh, as it's playing, but it's a little bit hard to see. So let's get rid of that. And of course, you can rotate things, and scale them. Same thing is with is with the image. But this is a great way of just prototyping what you want your animation to look like very quickly, and then just you know, and, and then you're off to the races. So let's just uh, do that. Okay, cool. Now you can also save multiple animations to local storage uh, with this little gear icon up here. And if you want to change it, um, my awesome animation, save. Okay, and I've got a couple of them here. Some of them are just kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, you can easily flip back and forth between different animations and, uh, and, and see which ones work for your needs. Uh, but that's, the, oh, and a few more things. Um, all of this saves to local storage, so once you hit the refresh key, uh, the refresh button on your browser, it's still there, and it all works in, uh, it all works offline as well. So as long as you go to this page once, uh, it's all stored to app cache, so you could go and take this on an airplane without an internet connection, and you'll still have this tool available in your browser. So that's pretty powerful. Um, this is Styly. I hope you find it useful. I really enjoy working on it. And uh, give it a try. I'm going to add a link to the tool in the, in the video description. And uh, hopefully it works for you. Thanks.